I'm going to demonstrate liebacking on this classic liebacking problem here. Liebacking is not a first choice technique. It takes a lot of energy. Um, if you're leading a climb from the liebacking position, it's difficult to place protection. You can't see how good the cam placements are. Um, generally, I would prefer when I see a flake like this to jam and get my weight on my feet. But because this one tilts over backwards quite a bit, that's just not going to work here. I'm going to need to get outside the crack and lie back. And once I'm in that lie backing position, I'm burning a lot of energy. So I just need to keep moving. The key to lie backing is getting your feet high. Okay. Cause what's keeping me on the rock here is that oppositional force feet pressing in hands, pulling out. If my feet get down low, they start slipping. Okay. So feet high and just go because you're burning a lot of energy go, 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 and get to the rest. Whew, okay. Now I can get my hips in, get my weight on my feet, chalk up, and get ready for the scary highball top out here, which I wouldn't want to do unless I was sure, right? I could reverse all these moves if I needed to, and that's important. <laughs> 